What if I told you there was a way to paint without a fear of failure, without feeling self-conscious, a way to paint with confidence and just make art for the fun of it without worrying that you're gonna hate what you create? Well, there is a way and I'm gonna tell you about it, but you have to promise to stick with me, okay? It's not a top secret painting technique that's going to improve your art overnight. It's also not a magic spell that I can cast over you to make you love everything you paint, but it's something real and tangible that you can do all by yourself. In fact, it's something so simple that you might roll your eyes and even consider exiting the video, but bear with me. Okay, here we go. It's art journaling. I know it sounds really simple and basic or whatever, but I swear it's the best thing to do to gain confidence and improve your art. No matter where you're at, whether you've just started painting or maybe you haven't even started yet at all, or you've been painting for years and years. No matter where you're at, it's a great thing to do. To put it simply, it's like a regular written journal except for art. It can be full of painting, drawing, writing, collaging, whatever you want it to be. The point is that it's a fun and safe place for you to just muck around and experiment with making art without worrying that anyone's gonna see what you've made so there's no fear of judgment and no reason to feel self-conscious. It's a place you can practice your skills and try and work out what your style even is. You can play with colors and shapes and textures and who knows what else. It's meant to be fun and relaxing and you can put whatever you want in there. It can be whatever you want it to be. I actually recently had a look through my old art journals from high school and let's just say it doesn't even matter what was in them. The point is that I had somewhere to paint and play and experiment with making art without worrying what anyone else thought of it. And the funniest thing is that they barely had any watercolor in them at all, which goes to show you can start anywhere making anything and you will have literally no idea where you're going to end up. You just have to start making something. If you've ever felt self-conscious about your art before, just remember art journaling is literally just for you unless you decide to make a YouTube video about it. So you have permission to make crappy art. What even is good art anyway? The only person who will see it is you. Art journaling is also a way for you to practice your painting and maybe you'll follow along with some of my tutorials and practice your techniques in the art journal. Or maybe you'll just muck around, glue stuff in your art journal, have a dabble with painting here, muck around with drawing stuff there. You might do all of the things that I've said or maybe none of them. The main thing is it's a place for you to let go of the idea that you need to even know what you're doing and embrace the fact that you're learning something new and you don't always know what's gonna happen. And my biggest art related regret is that I haven't been consistently art journaling for a long time. So there are big gaps and breaks between my art journals and I can't look back at all of my progress over time. I can only see chunks and snippets here and there when I did keep an art journal and it sucks. I wish I could remember what the first thing that I painted with watercolor was. And I wish I could see my style evolving with watercolor. So if I can convince you of anything, let it be, you should art journal. And I just remembered a really good piece of advice that I got from one of my high school art teachers. Potentially the only piece of advice that I ever listened to. And it was never throw out an art journal. Seriously, if you throw out an art journal, it might feel like the right decision at the time because you're like, oh, I don't wanna look at that old art that I did or, oh, I wasn't very good, whatever that means. <laughs> but I can assure you, you will want to look at it later down the track. So if you do ever feel like throwing out an art journal or donating it or whatever, maybe just put it in a safe place, hidden in the back of a cupboard so you can come back to it later if you want to but it's out of sight and out of mind for now. Whatever you do, just don't throw out your art journals. Now that I've convinced you to start an art journal and never throw it out, here, I hope, <laughs> is a video to help you get started with art journaling.